Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we're really going to make people think that I'm biased, right? I'm wearing a Molson Canadian shirt. I'm drinking out of a John Molson glass. So, I'll wait, I know, here now. If I don't like this beer, I'll hear it from somebody. Hey, you're a Molson drinker, that's why you don't... I just wear whatever beer shirts I have. I buy a lot of them, and I get a lot of them sent to me. That's what I wear. I rotate through them. I have, like... I don't know, 56 different beer shirts back here? I rotate them, fuckers. Anyway, today we are drinking a beer from Niagara College. I swear, we're almost done the Niagara College beers. Uh, not that you'll know how many have just gone through because of the fact that I have so many other filler videos between them. Well, I shouldn't say filler. I have so many other review videos between them, but I just had so many of these. It feels like all I'm doing is drinking Niagara College beers right now. Anyway, this is Johnny Aloha IPA. Certified original, 6% alcohol. Let's open it with my broken opener. Yeah, my broken opener. Remember, this is the one I broke taking the cork out of the... Uh, hmm, out of the uh, blueberry mead from Trafalgar. One second. A little bit of dust in there. Horrible pour. Oh, look at that drippy down. Oh, oh, the head. I thought I stopped right before the head got to the top. Alas, I did not. Only thing I don't like about the outward turning mouths is just that the, uh, the head doesn't get contained, if you will. Let's just use my shirt here to wash it up. Ooh, that smells so nice. Okay. So, let's look at the glass again, eh? Brassy color, lots of head. Uh, a lot of that head, there was no way of me stopping it. The very moment I started pouring it, it, it created itself. Um, I should have held the glass up to show you while I was pouring, but I didn't want to. But that head is very, very, very robust. Uh, very tight bubbles. Good deal of snap, crackle, pop going on there. Looks beautiful though. I mean, other than the fact that you're not getting a full serving of beer in this glass, that presentation wise, it's a beautiful looking beer. The head sticks around, but it is fading very nicely too. Let's just pour a little bit more in here and uh, hope not to go over the top again. And let's do a smell test. Hmm. Amarillo hops? Are you using Amarillo? I ask because there is a fairly uh, noticeable blood orange smell. Cheers to you, average troll. Mmm. Orange, some cedar, a bit of grapefruit, bit of lemon. Mm, and almost like a bubblegum flavor in there, the scent in there, too. Like Hubba Bubba. No, no, not Hubba Bubba. Almost like Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe, for those of you old enough to remember Bazooka Joe. Um, yeah, let's try the beer. Cheers. Mmm. Way too much head in this beer. Visually, super appealing. Realistically, 
not very good for me to drink it. I'm going to drink from the bottle for right now. I know that's a big sin. Actually, you know what? Do I have any sample cups left down here? I don't. I guess we'll just force the head into my mouth. Okay. So. A nice sweetness at the forefront. Very fruity, very, very, very hoppy taste. You are, well, I am getting blood orange, like I said earlier on the nose. I am getting cedar, I'm getting some pine. Um, little resiny, little resiny. It does stick around and it takes over all of your tongue, the bitterness. But the bitterness is low enough that it is at the same time refreshing. So, sweet blood orange. Uh, resinous cedar and pine. Little lemon zest. Little almost pineapple flavor in there, and then something that reminds me of uh, mint. I know there's probably no mint in here, but something in that taste profile mixing together is reminding me of mint. Uh, shout out to you, Lee. Uh, what it is, I have no clue, but it's there. All in all, a super, super refreshing IPA. The Johnny Aloha IPA is an IPA I could drink. I don't think I could drink it all night. I'd be able to buy more than one bottle of it, have a bottle every night for a week or something like that, but I wouldn't be able to drink more than one in a night. It's just too resiny for me. It takes over my taste buds. It takes over my palate. I wouldn't be able to taste anything after a couple bottles of this. However, a pint of it, great. A smaller bottle of it, other than the 650, if there was a smaller bottle of 341, that would be perfect because you could have a 341 of that and still be able to drink something else and taste it. But I think a pint, I think anything over a pint, I think this 650 would really fuck up your uh, taste buds after drinking it. Excuse the language. You know what? Don't fucking excuse the language. I'm, I can swear. I'm swearing. This isn't fucking TV, is it? No, it's my fucking YouTube channel. Fuck this shit. Yeah, it's a really nice IPA. Uh, it hits all the marks right. I just don't understand how I'm getting that weird minty taste. Mm. Every, oh, there's even a nice biscuity taste that comes up at the end. Mm. You know what? 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I would drink this. I would recommend this. I would buy this. Um, I have absolutely no problem with this. Even that weird minty taste I have no problem with. I just can't fathom where it's coming from. Thank you very much, YouTube. Thank you, Niagara College. Johnny Aloha IPA. Bye-bye, guys.